Hey fellow photographers and photoshoppers, this is Troy with Apertures Photos and Maximus Troy Photography coming at you again with a tip on shooting with a gray card. This may be one of the most important fundamental little tips that you can get is this gray card. Uh, I know that you usually will put your gray card up there and you will get a uh, center balance if you have if you're looking through your little viewfinder like up here on this screen and you have your little arrows whether you're on a Canon or Nikon obviously I shoot Canon here and you'll put it right on the center and that gets you where you're supposed to be most of the time but something else that you should do because this is an important skill this is kind of a a uh, sneak peek on some courses that we're going to be that we're currently working on should be coming up soon uh, on called a photographer's boot camp anyway you will uh, have your on the Canon system you push your little info button once or twice and your histogram comes up what your histogram will show you is here is the size of your dark and that's the number of pixels that is going to be really really dark and near black in this zone right here this is kind of a breakdown of the zone system this isn't the zone system but it's kind of a pseudo breakdown of it and this is kind of those black spots back in here over here is your whites in your brights and this is the representative of the number of pixels that are bright white so you can see you have some bright white pixels around here this since I used a non GMO completely organic lens on this it I had to zoom with my feet so all I did on this is I walked up here till uh, the uh, gray card was filling about 75 at least 75 percent of the screen and I took a picture of it and that's going to give me a representation of all the grays this is a neutral 128 128 128 I think it's actually 128, 128, 127 gray card. And you can see that there are so many pixels that they clip all the way out. They're, they just can't even handle all those pixels. One of the things that you notice most of all, though, is that it's not dead center. We want it really right about there. Now, sometimes it's a little bit over here. Sometimes it's just a little bit over there. But pretty much we want it right here in the center. This is about one-third stop underexposed. So what I did is I clicked it one time over this is the same photo I mean he's standing this is my son standing here in the same spot I'm standing in the same spot pretty much the same background one click over and you'll see that my spike has moved over just a touch I really want it right about there which is probably about one tenth of a stop over but that's as close as you're gonna get used with your one third stop intervals and so we know that right here where his face is is properly exposed just right there coming over I uh, this is pretty much the same shot but I pulled it all pulled it back and you can see it's much darker you can see our gray spike is not in the center it's just not we need to go about a stop and a third over to get over here which is about four to five clicks as you notice on this one well let me go back one you can see the background here. I am about stop and a third or stop and a half over. I click it over and I nail it my second shot. My gray spot is right in the center. Where his face is is going to be perfectly exposed. Now I can look at my background and stuff to see how that's going to be going to going to look. Did it again. Look, I am underexposed here and as I was looking at this photo, I could tell cuz I keep my blown highlights out that this is just going to be ugly blown out if I take this shot here because I know that his face is underexposed and to get it exposed correctly I'm going to have to come over another stop stop and a half and I already got blinkers you know I'm going to have to deal with that if I if this was going to be a real portrait shot in this spot as you can see as I moved it over and I have my blinkers on and that's just being blown all the way out I mean so you know that's a that's something that you're gonna when you're doing this you can see where your histogram is falling these are wall crawlers right here that's where I'm being blown out those wall crawlers are just coming up on my whites and blowing them out if I need that exposed back there I gotta deal with this up here and that's where you have to do something a little bit different here's kinda of the opposite effect I got blacks all the way over here see all these blacks right there 
and I am a little just a touch overexposed where my subjects gonna be I gotta pull that down and I got zero I got blacks that are about to crawl the wall right there and as I come eventually get it pulled over and I'm about exposed correctly I got wall crawlers in the blacks that's a situation that I if I need that detail back there I gotta learn how I gotta figure out a way to deal with that anyway that's shooting with a gray card there's gonna be more on this gray card coming up because next we're gonna show you how to take these exposures if you did miss it say you're right here how to fix it in Photoshop and how to fix any color corrections using this gray card so this is kind of an intro part to and a sneak peek to courses that we have coming up and an intro to what all you can do with this wonderful gray card this is one of the best things especially if you're new to photography to learn how to use is this gray card again this is Troy with Maximus Photography and Apertures Photos coming at you again next time thank you very much